All right, guys, what is going on? Fly here. Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm on a common test uh, to show you guys what the new patch has in store for World of Warships. Um, in this video, we're going to be going over the new additions to the Japanese Navy or the Imperial Japanese Navy. Um, we'll start off from the carriers and we'll move on from there. All right, so this is. Um, in my experience of naval games, especially Navy Field 1, if you guys have played that game, I'm sure some of you guys have, um, has been, uh, I've loved the Japanese line. Um, with the first carrier at Tier 4, we have the Hosho, and I want to apologize if I mispronounce any of these ships incorrectly. Um, it's, and just in the past, it's been very difficult, me, difficult for me to pronounce um, Japanese um, words in English, if you know what I'm saying, so I do apologize. So just to read a little bit off of it, the Hosho was converted into an aircraft carrier in collaboration with English shipbuilders in 1920. So it's kind of a you know a trend with the the Japanese Navy, you know the Congo. I think they had a lot of influence from the uh, English shipbuilders or the United Kingdom. Um, God, this music is great, isn't it, guys? It like fits. It fits this environment. Like the uh, the vocals, the choir in the back. I love that kind of type of sound. All right, so we're looking at the planes here. Um, we have some bi- <laughs> Fuck. That's not right, dude. Th we have triplanes on here. Um, these have to be- Okay, so we're gonna be having- Let's see. We have two torpedo bomber squadrons. Uh, that's gonna be the Mitsubishi M- or 1MT. 85 knots cruising speed. Wow, I have never even heard of this plane before. But is she beautiful? That is just so darn cool. Uh, for the fighters, we have a biplane. It is the- uh, Nakajima, mm, yeah, that, well, we'll leave it at that. Nakajima A2N2, which is a biplane fighter. Uh, let's see how fast we got it. 128, 126 knots. Average damage per second is 30. Very beautiful carrier. One of my favorite carriers ever created. Just the nostalgia uh, for me in uh, Navy Field. All right, so next up, uh, we have uh, Zuo. We'll call it Z. Wow. Okay, so uh, right off the bat, this this reminds me kind of of the design of the Akagi. Kind of the same, um, you know, have the, have the normal ship nose and an elevated flight deck. Still a flat deck. And yes, this is when it starts to come in. We're starting to get those nice Japanese exhausts. Um, I guess you call towers, but this one's horizontal. I love that design. You kind of see that kind of slopeness on the Yamato Aoba or Ua... Uh, Aoba? <laughs> Uh, but this is a, a tier 5 carrier. Uh, we're dealing with uh, Nakaji, Nakajima uh, A4 in, or yeah, A4 in. Okay, so let's go ahead and mount this and see what these look like. Okay, so we have the uh, second fighters loaded out. These are. Where do they go? Um, I guess. Wow. These are some crazy looking planes. Let me just make sure I got it all right. So we have one fighter squadron, two torpedo squadrons, and one bomber. Okay. Um, if I'm correct, uh, these are the fighters right here in the back. Looks pretty much like the A2N2. Uh, uh, second up, these I'm, these look like swordfishes, uh, but the problem is, is that there's only one squadron of those. So these are the dive bombers here. And here we have the Nakajima B3N. And guys, I'm sorry if I mispronounce. I really am. I do apologize. Um, look at these plane designs here. They have like um, X fabricated wing mounts. Do you guys see that? It's really cool. It's kind of hard to show you with this view. I wish I could get down a little bit closer. Maybe I can. Um, here we go. There we go. Oh, that's, that's, that's going to be a lot easier to show you guys. These things look like a tube with wings, if you guys check them out. They are really cool looking. Uh, here are the bombers to show you guys a little bit up close. This would be, there we go. Learning as we go. Um, and then here are the fighters in the back. Now we're going to upgrade to the D1A2. This is for the dive bombers. We'll go ahead and look at those now from a difference. So pretty much, you know, granted these are variants, so they're not that much different, but it is an upgrade. All right, so now on to the Ryu. The, Ri the Ryu? <laughs> Whatever. Oh, she is... Oh, gosh. She is beautiful, guys. Oh, my gosh. That is a beautiful carrier. I love the Japanese design on carriers. So efficient. 
so revolutionary, so powerful for so early um, in the war. This one was made in 19... Look at that, 1922. Look at this. Uh, I think this is the command center or the bridge. Beautiful looking. She is gorgeous. So in this one, looks like we have D3A1s. Let's just double check here. Okay, so for our fighters, we have... Uh, we have Mitsubishi A5M2s. What did I say? D3A1s? I think I'm, I think I'm a little bit off, but these are the fighter variant. Um, these have two 7.7s, at least in War Thunder. Um, average damage per second is 30. Uh, and then the torpedo bombers will be upgraded to the Yokosuka B4Y. Let's check those out. Okay, now we're going on the torpedo bombers. That is... You know, I really don't have that much knowledge of Japanese torpedo bombers, but boy, are they surely unique. Beautiful design, though. Okay, and our bombers are going to be... Oh, here are the D3A1s. Go on them right now. Okay, yeah, I completely messed that up. I don't know what I was thinking about the A6 or the A5 M2s back there, but these are the D3A1s, the VALs. Uh, I guess that's how you say them, or they're NATO, or, you know, call-out name. Uh, very, uh, these are the, I'm pretty sure the D3A1s uh, attacked Pearl Harbor um, in, uh, during Pearl Harbor with uh, the Kates, the B5N2s. I think we're going to be having those pretty soon. All right, now on to, I know I keep saying my favorite and favorite carrier, but I really embrace uh, the Japanese Navy in Navy Field, and I really just grinded the Navy tree out, or the uh, carrier tree for the Navy. Next up, one of my favorites ever, the Hiru, we're going to call it that. Oh, yeah! Yes! N my gosh, this is a tier 7. This is going to act like the Ranger class for the Americans. Wow. What a beautiful car uh, carrier. We have the Japanese rising sun or the sun right here. Oh, God, guys. I'm having a nerd gas. And this music's about to make me cry. <laughs> All right, so let's check out our upgrades on the planes. For our fighters, we're going to have the A5M2s. But when we upgrade on the Hiru, uh, we get one of my favorite planes in the world. The A6M20. It's going to look beautiful here, guys. Let's check them out. Oh, yeah. Yes, dude. That is cool looking. Tier 7, we get the zeros. All right, and then here are the Kates, the B5N2s, I believe. We're going to mount those. Check the torpedo bombers out. Yep, they're the Kates. Beautiful looking. Devastating. These things should do a lot of damage. Maximum torpedo damage. Oh, good gosh. Is that right, guys? 24,000 damage for one torpedo? I'm just going to double check. Um, you know what? Don't look, guys. There, I'm... Okay, hang, hang on. Let's go to the Ranger class real quick. Check out his... the. Uh, wow, okay, damn. That's a lot of darn damage. So let's go back. Don't want to show you too much, because I want to make, make some more videos on this. All right, we're on the uh, Hero. There we go. Sorry, again, pr pronunciation. I apologize. All right, so there, as I said before, there are the Kates. I love looking at plane upgrades. They're pretty darn cool. A propulsion, how fast are we going? 34 knots. God, Japanese power. Um, D3A2. Should be just a nice variant change. Nothing too much of the superstructure or the empennage fuselage. Uh, this will be a dive bomber. Ooh, it definitely has changed a lot. The D3A2 is very different. Beautiful aircraft. Radial engines on all planes, I believe. Japanese are known for their radials. I don't think many Japanese planes had inline engines other than the key... The key models, the key 61, uh, maybe some uh, twin props, but Japanese had a lot of uh, radial engines. Okay, next up, sorry I mispronounced it, Shokaku, Shokaku, <laughs> whatever. Whoa, tier 8? She is looking naughty, guys. What a darn, she is long. Now, what is this one all about? Okay, the first aircraft carrier built in Japan after the limitation of the Washington and London Naval Treaty were removed. Whoa, developed as an upgrade version of the Soryu class. They essentially followed the design of their predecessor, but featured higher displacement and reinforced armor and carried more aircraft. And now do we have the seal of approval on here? And there we go. 
we'll call it that. This music man is killing me. <laughs> All right, uh, fighter upgrades. We have the A6M2. Upgrade's gonna be the A7M1. I've heard of the A7M2, and it should look like the A7M1. Yeah, pretty much like a P51 for the Japanese. A little bit lighter, um, a little bit less powerful, but a darn nasty fighter. Kind of resembles a N1K a little bit, but a gorgeous fighter. We should be getting this in War Thunder too, but this is a World Warship video. Um, and now after this, my knowledge of torpedo bombers that the Japanese had is gone. I don't know these planes at all, so this is a first for me and you, hopefully. There we go, sorry about that guys. Torpedo bombers, Nakajima B6Ns. Beautiful. 27,000 max torpedo damage. Goodness. Okay, uh, D4Y2. Now, the dive bombers can do 10,000 damage max, but that's, you know, really luck luckily. They got a periscopic scoping, or per yeah, right here to uh, for long range engagements. Pretty cool, neat addition they put on there. All right. Ooh, I know this ship. I know this ship. I had this in Navy Field. The, uh, uh how do I pronounce Y's or I's? Is it Y? Ye. Uh, okay. Tauho? Tauho? We'll, we'll call it that. I mean, I want to say Taiho, Taiho, but I don't know if that's right. But you guys help me in the comments below. Huh? I love this carry Navy Field One. Good. Whoa. Wow, it looks so much better in 3D. No, I'm like so much nostalgia. I grind so I grinded so long to get this bad boy. Oh, the good times. Look at this flight deck. She is gorgeous. Man, oh man. Max speed 34 knots, 160,000 horsepower. This has to be uh, one of the largest and most advanced Japanese aircraft carriers of World War II. She was the first Japanese ship of this type to have an armored flight deck integrated into the hull. Because as before, the Japanese had a lot of wooden decks, I believe. So this is a armored deck now that we have for the Taiho, maybe. That might work. Um, look at that, all metal or whatever they use. They probably use tongue skin because that was around back then. Uh, just kidding. All right, now let's go check out the fighter upgrades. And as, I, as you guys can see, here is the A7M1 and a non, this plane was not a carrier variant, at least I don't know, not the J7W1. Wait, I was thinking of the J2M3, excuse me guys. Um, this is the Canard fighter. I'm glad to see it in this game. Let's go check it out. Oh baby, holy crap. Now, if this thing caught a uh, Raptor hook with that propeller that low, I don't know what would happen to the plane, but uh, we, this plane should have some pretty intense stopping power. Let's check out its damage per minute. 148 with 430 mils, as you guys can see up there, uh, the holes for it. All right, now onto the torpedo bombers. We have the uh, Aichiya, no, horribly wrong. We'll call it the B7A. All right, we're gonna mount that. Still, knowledge is out the window right now. First for me. Oh my gosh. Oh, this is like the B the B7A2, and yeah, coolness. Look at that, guys. Any attacking power? Nope. Okay. All right, now on to the D4Y3 for the dive bomber upgrade. Pretty much like the D4Y2, but probably a little bit better variant, probably a little bit better bomb damage. 1500, wow. Up 5,000 max crit. All right, guys, and now this is, oh, she is gorgeous. Look at this. I'm sorry, guys. I think the Japanese had much better looking aircraft carriers than Americans. Now the British, I really like the British aircraft carriers too. Now, I'm gonna throw it out there. The the Lexington is one of the sexiest aircraft carriers ever, but um, I think I'm biased. 
with the United Kingdom and Japanese carrier. Okay, guys, now on to the last tier 10 carrier or the tier, um, the last carrier you'll unlock in World of Warships for the Japanese Navy. Uh, the Hakuru. <laughs> okay, so, so we have H A Hak Uru. Hakuru. Ah, well, there we go. All right, let's check it out. Oh, wow, armored flight deck. Now, is this the one I'm thinking of? Um, there was a Yamato one, or a Yamato hull that was, I think, prototyped, or actually was built, um, that was turned into a carrier. This one looks, ex this one looks like it a little bit. Now, from what I saw in pictures, the only thing that I don't think it is, is that it doesn't go out more like this and come around. Uh, it, wait, we'll just go on, it has to say if it is. Okay, yeah, I don't think that's in the game. Project G15 was a development of uh, the Daiho class aircraft carrier. The ship was to inherit her predecessor's arrangement, but feature larger dimensions, carried a stronger air group, and had more powerful anti-aircraft armament. Five ships were planned, but none were laid down. So we, we, we aren't seeing, I think it's called, it has, it's SH Shiano, something like that. You guys know about it. Um, but that's not in game, which I'm kind of bummed about. Uh, but let's go check the last tier aircraft that we can unlock. Exterior, what does this mean? Whoa, 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 whoa. Exterior, we can get signal flags. Minus 100% to chance. Wow, so what do these mean? Huh. Maybe you can buy them for a battle, but that's not what we're here for. All right. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. There we go. Let's go to the aircraft. All right, so our fighters is an A8M, a Mitsubishi A8M. That's a uh, stuttering mouthful. Now, I can't see my... Okay, where are my aircraft? Squadron under command 8. Oh, my gosh, ladies and gentlemen. I have a awesome, some awesome news real quick. Um, hang on, let me just get organized here. I can't look at my fighters, really. Um, but we'll, we'll just find them back here. Where are they? Okay, we're going to decipher this. Oh my god, there's so many squadrons of everything. Alright, so our torpedo bombers is a... Uh, let's, let's check it out. Is a R2Y... Or R2Y1B, a propeller-driven variant... Um, of the R2Y2, the jet variants in War Thunder, as you, come on, leave them there for the guys to see. Beautiful airplane, torpedo bomb dropping, 800 kilogram, also could probably go on there. For our dive bombers, we have the uh, J5N1. Looks like a, uh, is this it right here? So, wow, so we have, it looks like a key, uh, a key 102 um, type of aircraft, a twin engine dive bomber pretty awesome and then our fighters um, must be in the back of the ship they look very much like the um, R is it R2Y1 I believe just double checking yeah I guess they're this these are these are these are it it looked very similar in my opinion but uh that is the Japanese fleet for aircraft carriers. Beautiful ships. Can't wait to play these things in the game once they're out on the main server. Um, get pumped. Uh, this patch will probably go live pretty darn soon. Uh, maybe in a week at the most. If you guys, I've seen some comments from you guys saying, man, they keep it so long, when will it be released? I want to play. Um, and I don't know if you guys know this, but if you pay $15, you can get a beta key uh, via their store, just in case you guys didn't know that. But if you don't do that, you still can't play. But a little bit of a, a PSA. But I hope you guys have enjoyed. Uh, be sure to check back the channel for some more of these videos showcasing or showcasing uh, the new ships coming into the new patch. All right, guys. Peace out.